Paul would tell the Christians in Philippians, in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, he would say, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer, petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Want to know the best way to get rid of worry? Gratitude leads to peace. You see, Paul went on to say it very plainly in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 7, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. There is an inseparable connection between gratitude and an anxious, worry-free life. Paul penned those words when he was in prison and facing a most uncertain future. He called the Philippian Christians to not be anxious about anything while he himself found himself in chains and in the deepest part of the prison. Paul had no idea what would happen next. Would he be executed? Would he be set free? This was his circumstance, and yet he encouraged those Philippian Christians, as he encourages us today, in everything by prayer, let your requests be made known to God. Thus, giving thanks is an indispensable weapon for conquering our worries. Grateful people find joy and peace, a sense of well-being, of wholeness, close at hand. Renee Brown, a Hudson scholar and researcher, has said that she made a commitment to never talk about joy without also talking about gratitude. She wrote it this way. She said, in 12 years of research, I've never interviewed a single person with the capacity to really experience joy who did not actively practice gratitude. Israel's worship throughout the Psalms is jam-packed with the call to give thanks. Psalm 7 says, I'll give thanks to the Lord, thanks due to God's righteousness. Psalms 9, I give thanks to the Lord. Psalms 28, the Lord's my strength and shield, I give thanks to him. Psalms 30, sing praises to the Lord, give thanks to his holy name. So many psalms over and over again, proclaiming thanksgiving. Psalms 33, 34, 54, 100, 105, 122, 136, all proclaiming. Give thanks to the Lord. A grateful heart is a peaceful heart. If you desire to worry less today, think much on God's faithfulness to you in your past and in your present and where God has taken you into your future. Think about what God has promised and fulfilled already for you in and through Christ Jesus. When you thank God and give praise to God, worry melts away and peace fills your soul. This is good news. Amen.